If you don't know how to change a patient, you can't say, oh, I was never an aide, you know, I'm a nurse, I'm, I'm, I was never an aide, so I don't know how to do that. Honey, I'm gonna need you to learn. Hey everyone, I am your fave nurse B. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I have plenty of videos for CNAs, nursing students, aspiring nursing students, and new nurses as well. I also have a Facebook group, Your Fave Nurse B. Um, we discuss plenty of things on there. It's a lot of support for aspiring nurses, new nurses, nursing students, all that jazz. And also go follow me on Instagram at Your Fave Nurse B number one. And depending on when you're watching this, I am giving away my nursing notes for free. Free, uh, but it ends December I don't know the day I'll put it here but it ends it's coming up it's when it's gonna end but if you want to get my nursing notes I'm a valedictorian in my class if you want to get those notes uh, go ahead and go watch this video about it but let's get into this video so there was somewhat of a discussion in the Facebook group and I didn't read all the comments but I kind of saw the gist of it but basically someone was like you know um, in order to be a good nurse you should be a CNA first period you know and I, I have some videos talking about, because I was a CNA first, talking about that transition from CNA to nurse. Do I think you have to be a CNA before becoming a nurse? All that jazz. I have some videos, but I never really talked about do I think that it, it is going to basically make you a better nurse to be a CNA first. To me, in my opinion, my opinion from what I've seen, it doesn't make a difference whether or not you're going to be a good nurse or a bad nurse or whatever if you are a CNA first. To me, of course, like everything else, it comes down to that person. It comes down to that person, period. Because you have some people who are like, I hated, to be in, I hated being an aide. All I saw was a nurse sitting there doing nothing. That's exactly what I want to do. I went to nursing school to not be an aide, to not do aid work. Um, I I hate it. Like I'm a nurse now. F y'all. Like I'm over this. Like I'm not. These eyebrows look good, y'all. I have not got my eyebrows done in so long. A thumbnail. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> Here's the thing. For me, some people they have negative um, attitudes. They don't have that teamwork spirit. They aren't professional as aides and they carry that on to being a nurse. And to me that makes them a worse nurse because they never really fully embrace what it means to be a CNA, what it means to actually help somebody with their ADLs, like the importance of a CNA, what a CNA or a patient care tech really brings to the table. They never really embraced it and had pride in what they did and really cared about taking care of their patients. They never embraced it so going into nursing they they don't have respect for AIDS because they didn't respect themselves in that role so how is they gonna make them a better nurse it's not to me like I said it makes them a worse nurse because they're gonna look down on their AIDS they're not gonna respect them and what they do um, and then you have the flip side of it who I feel like I was definitely in this role in this group the people who understood what it meant to be an A, understood that what they do is very important. They respected their patients, they respected their nurses, and they respected their role, and they carried it into the nursing role, and they respected the whole team as a whole because we're not doing this alone, y'all. I don't care whether you're a nurse, a doctor, patient care tech, if you're the shower aide, if you're the receptionist, if you're activities, it takes all of these people, dietary, it takes all of us to be able to carry out good health care for people, okay? Because what type of health care would it be if nobody came and took out the trash? It was just trash everywhere. Needles overflowing, blood everywhere, boo-boo everywhere, the place stink, piss, all this. What type of place would that be? You know what I'm saying? Like, freaking go back to Florence Nightingale and her whole list of stuff that she said. I don't know what it is. I'm going to post it up here. But what type of place would it be? You know, what type of place would it be if patients got nasty? food food that was cold food that was moldy food that wasn't cooked well what type of health care would you be giving people okay everyone is important to the health care team and I believe that at being an aide helped me to see that now I think that's what can make you a better nurse because you come from humble beginnings but it's un it's not until you actually embrace that and you see it for what it is and you respect it 
that's the only way that you're gonna be able to transfer that into being a nurse and respecting everyone's role okay but you can come into a nurse and look and see what your aides are doing and be like wow like I have some great aides I really appreciate you all and that can still help you to be a good nurse so I think it just depends on the person because everybody is not no matter where you get in life People think because you get a title, that's gonna make you a better person. Or people think because you don't have that title, you're not as good as everybody else. No, it depends on you and the core of you and what you bring to the table. That's what's gonna make you a per like, you know, the make you a valuable person, a valuable part of the team. So I don't think you have to be an aide first. I think there are some pros and some cons to it. And I have videos talking about that. And I love the fact that I was an aide first because like I just told you all, it showed me um, the importance of CNAs, y'all. Like, I love CNAs. I love AIDS. I feel like if you're going to go into nursing, you should try being an aide first, but you don't have to. You do not have to. Because let's be honest, some people don't want to do it. They don't want to be an aide first, and that's fine. Like, just know, though, like I put on the, one of the comments to that question or that statement is that I put that you don't have to be an A first. So this is another comment somebody put. And she was like, I just don't want to be an A before nursing. Like, is there anything wrong with that? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But just know, depending on the setting in which you work. So if you're like an ICU nurse, you're going to be doing tech work or aid work. You're going to be cleaning people, showering people, cleaning them up, like getting them and doing nurse work. Um, depending on if you're going to LPN, you're working in a nursing home. You're more than likely, you're going to be doing what you consider aid work. If Even if you're a, a, an LPN or LVN and you're going into the hospital setting, they might have you doing aid work along with nursing work. So just keep that in mind. Um, and I don't get offended by me saying aid work or nur nurse work. Like at the end of the day, we all have job description so don't get you know def offended by me saying aid or cna or whatever like it, that's the title and that's the work like it is what it is like get over it um so because i know some people was getting like offended by me saying aid in the video and i was like that's that's what they are like people say nurse i don't i'm moving right along so yeah that's that um just know there's going to be times when you need to do that like with me if i want to get a dressing done and a patient like I, the dressing is like on their um Ischium or whatever on the coccyx or whatever. It's a sacral ulcer and that person is full of being full of urine and the aid is doing something else and I'm in there I got time or just I'm in there. I'm not gonna leave my patient Filthy and be like, oh, I'll come back and do this unless like something is happening and I have to run away and come back for a second I'm not gonna just leave that patient like that and be like, oh go change your patient Then I can do that like I'm not no it doesn't take that long to clean somebody. Now I get it, some people, they're bigger or whatever, and it might be harder for you to move them, but you can clean BM off of somebody. Like, I know people don't like that, but it's just like, this is where I feel like being an A first does help you because I, I know people don't see it like this, but I found pride in knowing that I came into a patient's room, they were dirty, they were smelly, they were uncomfortable, and I was able to make them feel comfortable. I was able to clean them, and I knew, okay, my patient is good. He or she is clean, they're dry, they smell good, they're good for now. I found pride in that because I wouldn't want to be like that. I wouldn't want to be nasty and funky and, you know, wet and be uncomfortable and people coming by telling, telling me I stink. like. I wouldn't want that so I found pride that I had the skill to do it and that I was willing to do it um, and I was I just I just saw it as an act of service so I found pride in knowing that my people were clean they were good their rooms were straightened up like they were well fed like I found pride in that but not everyone does you know but so going there as a nurse you're not gonna like there's gonna be times where you have to do what people consider aid work but really like this is all of our work now don't get me wrong Huh. Don't get me wrong. As a nurse, I did go to school. I have all these student loans. I went to school. I have the um the what do you call it? I have the education and the title of a nurse. I don't want to sit here and do aid work all day. Okay, like that, that's not what I want to do. And I know some people are like, oh, it doesn't matter. We're all part of the team. Da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, you went to school to be a nurse for a reason okay like if that's the case you would have just stayed a cna or stayed a patient care tech like let's be for real so there's i don't always want to do that okay 
but there's times where I don't mind doing it because I want to take care of my patient and I want to make sure they're good and I want to be able to get this freaking dressing done you know so it just really depends you all look at you as a person focus on you as a person don't think about oh I gotta do this I gotta do that first there's benefits to it because you might be at a job as a CNA or a patient care tech and your your job might pay for you to go to school they might help you with school or you be able to learn the information better because you have that basis as an aide but then again you might be learning the wrong stuff as an aide and carrying that on into nursing there's always pros and cons to anything so to me the most important thing to focus on is you your character what she brings to the table and building up your character building up a sense of pride building up a sense of professionalism integrity you know when it comes to your job if you're an A, be a good A. Come to work on time. Make sure you work on your communication skills. Talk to your nurses. Talk to other A's. Be respectful. Respect yourself. And if you're a new nurse or you are going into nursing school, you don't have that experience as an A, ask questions. Talk to people. Talk to people who are A's in clinicals. Be respectful to the A's in clinicals. Get the information that you need to have. If you don't know how to change a patient, you can't say, oh, I was never an aide. You know, I'm a nurse. I'm, I'm, I was never an aide, so I don't know how to do that. Honey, I'm going to need you to learn. You better learn how to change them change patients or how to change somebody that's in an uh, occupied bed. I need you to learn it, okay? That's not an excuse, okay? It's not. So those are my tips for you all. Um, I hope you all found this video helpful or informative. Put in the comment section, what do you think? Do you have to be an aide in order to be a good nurse? Let the discussion keep going. And also consider joining the Your Fave Nurse B Facebook group and follow me on Instagram at Your Fave Nurse B number one. That's all I have to say about this, you all. Stop thinking that titles are everything. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. Love you. Peace.